Welcome back to another Steam Free Day Play review. Today we have Unsunk Heroes the Prologue. So this is a game that was released to start generating Kickstarter funds for this possible 2D platformer game. And it already has like, it seems to have a local two player mode. Uh, I played it one player of course because I'm testing it out seeing how it is. On a stormy autumn evening, a barbarian village descended into sleep. Suddenly, a stranger appeared in search of shelter. There's no way this dude's evil. Cloaked figure, goat head staff, 0% chance. Skeleton fingers? The barbarians are like, oh this dude seems pretty trustworthy, let's get that gold! And this guy's like, something's amiss! I must save my brethren from the Grim Reaper guy! So, this game is pretty bare bones at the moment, it seems. I'm hoping if they do release a full game that they're gonna add a lot of things. But as it is now, you have like a generic three hit combo that doesn't change depending on your weapon, really. Because I tried the. I tried this weapon, I tried an axe, and I tried the best weapon in the game. And all the attacks were pretty similar. Um, they used some pretty cool platformer concepts, like there's little puzzles. And it has some challenging parts. This game had some parts that I died at a lot. And if you want achievements, you gotta find new ways to kill enemies like that. Which is kinda neat because it makes the enemies are actually kinda like aware of like surrounding kills which is a pretty neat concept and these fireballs murdered me <laughs> it was awful I was just like oh just jump across and then this dude oh my god I had to make an example out of him shoot me with an arrow so I'd jump into the fireball had to get my divine retribution you also have a shield which is kinda neat it adds a little bit more to the combat but <laughs> got revenge fireball punk get some also you have a ranged weapon to kind of solve your puzzles even though you can do this with your melee too it's just just kind of to show you it the range weapons uses the energy bar so you can't just sit there and spam them too much the range weapons seem to have uh, different things and this is Papa Ghost on and he sells you stuff I don't know what he needs money for but he sells you cool weapons and your cells I don't know if this will be like this in the real game but it's like a one for one so you pretty much get whatever price you sell you bought it for which is kinda nice considering most games give you like 10% so you can't like get to the next item but this is a tutorial so that might be why it's like that or not a tutorial what would it be like a preview that's that's what we'll call it a preview but what, like I said, the attacks are pretty similar. They do more damage, but that's about it. This is a pretty well-made little tutorial stage, though. It showcases the mechanics of the game pretty well. Also, another thing that makes this game challenging, as you can probably tell from right there, is that when you're jumping, if something stops your momentum, the only way to get it back is dashing. You can't just, like, hold forward and you'll just, like, float forward, like in most platformer games. If something kills your momentum, you are falling straight down. And it is... Highly unfortunate, but the environment, like play into the game, is like one of the better concepts. These archers, man, these archers have homing arrows and are toxic. I spent like a hot minute in this game trying to beat the, do one of the achievements where you have to kill the final boss, and he summons these archers, and he'll just keep summoning them, and they will literally auto shoot you. And it's so homing that I was behind one, it shot the arrow up in the sky, and that thing wanted curved, like, and hit me from behind the skeleton. So, it adds challenge, but I don't know if that's good game design or not, because that's pretty <laughs> unrealistic. <laughs> Granted, there are skeletons, but <laughs> that was when, I, when he shot me with the arrow from behind him, I was like, alright, yeah, I'm done. I'm done with this challenge. Because they were literally just homing shoot you so you can't focus on killing the boss. Or it seemed really hard to do. If you figure out a way to do it or you do it, congratulations because that was challenging. Without a shield and trying to punch the thing to death it was really challenging. 
But yeah, it kind of showcases how you could have like side quests and uh, missions and whatnot. And this is the area that leads to the hidden room, which I will include after the review and how, when I tell you the score of the game and what I thought about it overall. I'll have the hidden room kind of thing, which is kind of cool. I like the hidden room. It's an achievement as well. So I didn't even think this would like collapse the cave. <laughs> I just was not thinking about it when I blew up that wall. I don't know why, because it's like super cliche, but I was just like, what the heck? <laughs> kind of took me by surprise. So these springs do the same thing where they kill your momentum. When you bounce, you do not go as far forward as you normally would, so you kind of need to dash to get your momentum back, which adds a lot of challenge to the game. A lot of challenge. I died so many times on those springs, I cannot tell you. And there's this part coming up <laughs> where it's an obvious trap, and I literally fell for it three times, even though I knew it was there because I was getting chased by something. I was like, it's such a rush to get away from this that I fell into the same trap over and over and over again just because I didn't want to die to the debris behind me. So the graphics in this game are pretty well done. I like the background. Your character's kind of generic, little floaty stick person, but floaty stick viking dude. But this is a trap. Like, if you jump, you're just SOL. And I was, ugh. Oh, it kind of upset me because I just kept falling for it over and over again. I was like, god dang. But this part's really well designed. Because even though... It's not super hard. The music like builds the atmosphere for the chasing of the rubble that's following you. And this part coming up when you get to the end of it is really cool, like Mission Impossible kind of style, where everything goes into slow mo and you're just like falling. <laughs> that was pretty neat. And then you have your water stage. But this is the final boss. And after you beat him, basically the game will tell you that this is for a Kickstarter and you get a little cutscene. That won't spoil for you, but you get the cutscene and then you basically, the game will tell you you have secrets to unlock and you can go back and go to that secret room. And you get a, a bombed ra bomb range weapon, which makes it where you can actually go through those walls without like blowing up crates. And I like how he forgets to mention that he locks the gate. That's like pretty important information to be telling people. But yeah, this is the holy sword, the most OP sword in the game. So this weapon gets a 5 out of 10 because, of course, it's not a full game. And the mechanics so far seem pretty trivial. I hope they add things like leveling up or something, or at least combo skills that you can unlock. Or at least make the weapons do different attacks. There needs to be something that's going to, like, progress besides the damage of your weapons. Granted, the bombs was, like, a kind of cool addition because it plays different from the arrows. But I feel like they need to do that with the physical weapons as well. And other than that, it was it's pretty it looks interesting, let's say that, because the design is cool. And it looks like it could have like a halfway decent story and I like the side quests and whatnot. Really it's gonna depend on their story though, I think how good it's gonna be outside of the mechanics. Because like there's games that have simple mechanics like Underhero that have a great story and they're super fun to play. But yeah, thanks for watching as always, and please like and subscribe if you haven't already. The Room of Names will be next. Bye! <laughs> Poor old man, just trying to write his names. <laughs>